In the last video, we created this nice little select menu here, and we formatted it with the select menu widget in jQuery. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and add some groupings to our options here. And you can group those using the opt group element. So again, that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and specify that right here. And we just type in opt group. Now what we want to do is go ahead and give it a label. And this is what will appear as the grouping in our select menu. And you'll see that in a moment. And since these are states, let's just go ahead and appropriately call these states. And then we need to go ahead and close it out down here. Okay, so let's go ahead and refresh our page and let's see what we get. And there you can see, we've got our label now states and this indicates to the user that these are all related options. Now you're really only gonna use this if you add another group. So let's say we also wanted to give the user the ability to select countries. Well, we just add another opt group. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll just copy all of this. Let's go right down here. Let's paste this and we're gonna call this countries. That's what we're going to call this. And we'll make the first country the United States. And we'll put that in right here as well. This will be what's displayed in our menu. And for the second country, let's go ahead and pick India. And for the third country, let's pick France. How about that? Okay, so let's save everything up. Let's refresh our page. And there you can see, look how nice that looks. We've got two groupings now of options that the user can select from. So that is working very nicely. Now, most of the time I use this select menu as it is, but sometimes you may want to format this part right here. You may want to make the group label bolder or you may want to change the color. So let's go ahead and do that. So open up your jQuery folder and we're gonna go down to the jQuery-UI.structure. That's where we're going. And you're gonna go ahead and edit that with Notepad, of course. And then what I want you to do is a find on opt group. And there you can see, it found it right here. And you can see they created a class for the opt group. So that's exactly what we want to alter. And you could actually add a number here if you wanted to, like 900, that would increase the font weight. But in this case, let's just go ahead and change the color. And let's change it just to red. So let's go ahead and save this. We'll refresh our page. And there you can see, take a look at that. The headings now are in red. So that's exactly where you need to go to change the color of the heading. Now, remember, if you wanna change other areas in this, we're not gonna go through this because we've done this in other videos, but just remember, all you have to do is right click and inspect on the element, and that will tell you the class and the CSS file that you need to update in the jQuery UI folder. So just remember that. All right, so let's go ahead and just close this out. And actually, we don't even need this style sheet anymore. Now, in the last video, I showed you how to use the with property. And there's another one that I like to use as well. And we've done this before with other widgets, and that is we change the icon here. So we'll go ahead and do that really quickly. Now, remember, if we use multiple properties in jQuery, we need to put a comma here, and then we can add another property. And the property that we're gonna add is the icons property. And I've already got this all typed out, so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste that. And there you can see, we use the icons property, and then we go ahead and use the button property, and we put in the particular icon that we want. In this case, I'm using the arrow thick. Oops, and I screwed up my paste there. Let me repaste that. Okay, there we go. So let's try this again. And there you can see we've got the nice icon, the new icon. But in any event, there you go. And as always, I will put this code in the description of this video. Okay, so that's going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next lecture.